Hello everybody, this is Tafiq Shabi. So before we get started, I want to mention that in this course I'm gonna be working with the Unity 2019. So you can work even with any version of Unity has been released since uh, 2017. So 2017 is okay and all version of 2018 and 2019. So now Unity has released the last version of Unity is Unity uh, 2019.3 uh, but we are going to work with Unity 2019.2 so before we get started make sure that we are working with the Android version uh, with uh, the Android platform so make sure, sure that this small icon is here so select the Android platform and hit the switch platform button Okay, Unity will automatically change the icon here. So it's going to make his own processing and going to change the platform. So we are ready to go. Okay, now before we get started, we're gonna add a new resolution for our game. So I'm going to call it my phone. My phone. And here, let's head the type from the fixed resolution to aspect ratio. Ratio. So let's type 916 uh, or 919 as you want. Okay. Now it's selected for my phone. Make sure that you are in the game section, not on the scene. Okay. It's in the game. Okay. Now let's try to create. <coughs> A new folder called sprites in this folder we're gonna uh, import all our sprites we are going to work with so we already have two sprites and you're gonna import it here okay so it's a 2d sprite before that we're gonna create a new canvas a new image this image is going to be uh, our background for our, our game so let's call it bg1 bg1 now select the image and just drag the 2d background image here okay it's okay now if you want to make the stre uh, to stretch the image to be uh, on the width and on the high like our canvas so just select it and go here and tap alt if you tap alt if you tap alt and just hit the stretch button it will be like this okay we are ready to go now on the canvas make sure that it's a screen camera so here we're gonna drag the render camera here and make sure okay and make sure that our canvas is pixel perfect the plane distance keep at 100 and order and layer just type minus 100 now in the canvas scaler we just need to change from constant constant pixel size to scale with screen size okay on the x we're gonna type 960 and on the y resolution 720 okay and now on the matching uh, we're gonna type 06 now we are ready to work with our canvas now let's select our circle and drag it to the scene make sure that the x position is equal to zero so our circle is on the center of the screen okay let's change the name let's type circle okay and let's try to add a new tag so add tag and let's click the, the plus icon and just name it wood okay 
Now let's select it again and let's apply our tag. So do it. With the sorting layer, let's try to create a new uh, layer. But I have already cre uh, created our layer. So at the sorting layer, what you need to do is to create a new layer and go back to our circle and just apply it here. So it's a circle. So let's click five. Okay, now the uh, the circle in the middle and we already uh, add a new tag. So let's go back and let's create a new folder and call it scripts. The scripts folder, let's create a new C sharp script and call it circle. Let's select our circle and just apply our code on the circle sprite. Now we have created our script, just double click and open it in Visual Studio. Now let's delay the start and the update function because we are not going to use them for the moment. Here let's try to define a new class, but before that we need those, class, those classes to be on the inspector part. So system dot serializable. Okay, now let's define our class. Our class is going to be a public. So public class and let's call it rotation variation. Okay, here all we need to do is to define our new properties. So let's define a new property that's going to be of type range. So range is going to be between zero and two of type floats. Okay, now let's try to define a new float and this float is going to be the time and the time is going to be zero after that let's define a new variable of type range so this range is going to be starting from minus 180 to 180 Okay, now let's define another variable of type float and this new variable will contain the Z axis. Okay, don't forget the F stands for float. And now let's cre create another type of variables of type animation, sorry, type animation curve and let's call it curve now we have create our class but before we proceed to unity let's create a new variable so a public list and it's going to be um, of type rotation variation so just rotation variation and the name of this new uh, variable is going to be random rotation random rotation equal to a new constructor and it's going to be a new list of type rotation variation okay but before that before it starts working in the inspector part make sure that this code is going to be uh, required a new component component of type sprite render so here we need to add require component and this new component is going to be a type of 
and inside the type let's just add a sprite render now it's okay now if we save our code and go back to unity and select our circle you're gonna see that we have a new uh, list of type random rotation if we add um, for example one element on the size you're gonna see that we have a flow time stands for zero and it's uh, and we have is uh, and we have a curve the curve we're gonna define it later now let's go back to our code and let's add uh, a new uh, uh, sprite and let's call it with the sprite so public of type sprite and this sprite is going to be a wood sprite next let's try to define a new boolean so public bool and it's going just as uh, random clockwise and it will be false now uh, let's create a new variable so and current uh, rotation index and it will be equal to zero next we're going to define a new and variable and let's call it current level index and it will be equal to zero okay and now let's try to define another um, variable it's a float type float and let's call it value z now let's create another start function so void start so it's not going to be private and here let's make a test so the test consists that if our random rotation dot count is um, higher than zero we're gonna apply our rotation so if uh, our random rotation dot count higher than zero all we're gonna do is to apply our rotation so we're gonna create another uh, void we're gonna call it apply rotation so on the next tutorial we're gonna try to apply our rotation we're gonna uh, try to create some new codes uh, we're gonna try to work with the lean twin assets in order to get the other angles z and the rotation and to create a random aspect for our uh, circle how the behavior of the rotation